We're gonna let the chickens out and the guineas out. They gotten so big. Hey girls, come on. Come on, come on. There you go. They can go to the food forest if they want. And they're all gonna stick with me. <laughs> okay, well anyway, we gotta get in here and do some work and restring this okay because a falcon has been landing in here looking at the baby guineas go on go on out there you go go ahead they've gotten so big they're going back around there trying to get them out i'll better get back that way they don't get so scared. No, go on out. There you go. No, you girls and boys, go on with your parents. Mm -hmm. They're such babies. They're so tied to this pen. And they, even though they're bigger, really bigger than the chickens, they're still babies, and the chickens know it. I think there might be a hawk around. I wish they'd go on out to the food forest. It's safer out there. So they start squawking. And the chickens, Doug and his girls come running like, Are y'all okay? They're really getting bonded with these guineas. But they always want to come back to their house. They're, they don't feel secure out. But they're slowly, you know, getting better. If I walk toward them, they'll go on out. Yeah, this is fun out here. They need to get out and enjoy the food forest. And not be scaredy cats. There they go. They're going over there with the hens. They're really getting, t getting bonded with them chickens. The guineas have been trying to fly over the fence even though we got them clipped. A few of them try jump over and they make it and I don't want them out there with the dog shit uh, they go out with the chickens out in the backyard but if we're gone to the store we don't want them you know jumping over with the dogs the dogs might think well no one's here we'll just get them so we're gonna tighten this up more into squares up here so they can't get out and the hawks can't get in Make it uh, safe for him. And. Huh? Bruce is a big old coward. Oh, yeah. I don't know why he's hanging over here. I think he's sees some other girls because they don't have a rooster. And he knows it. But he needs to get, get on out there. Go on, duck. Oh. Now everybody's coming back. There they go. How to make them go out there? There they go. Yeah, them girls, they flirt with duck because they don't have a rooster. They like duck. He's a pretty good boy. <laughs> he is. But he's going to be busy, so I'm going to go around and dig up some sweet potatoes. And he's going to clean this pen out with all the chickens and the guineas. They get it messy, so he's going to clean that out. But we wanted the guineas out here because they get a little spooky and uh, get them clear. So, this is the guinea update. They're really getting big. Can you tell them what this is? Yeah. So, that, and they've been going out in the drop driveway and getting braver but they always come back to the gates they hang right by the gate for a while until they get confident but they're they're growing up thanks for watching coming out here check on these guineas see what they're up to there's those duck 
They look like they're eating grass. There they are. Hey, greenies. They're like dealing with a wild animal. Well, they sure like it out here. As long as they don't try to jump over. Hi, babies. Y'all gotten so big. Hi, babies. They should like it out here. Oh, here comes a, a donkey. They said, what in the world? I don't think they should have seen them before. And Duck is doing real good with them. That's his kids. Even the chickens, they come check on them. Duck can't hardly get away from them most of the time. If they're in the yard, him and his girl stay around them. I guess raising them, they think that's their babies. Hey, girls. Even though they're bigger, these hawks, they know they're babies. And they, they look at them. So we're going to fix that where they can't get in the pen with them. I just love having them. Thanks for watching.